The 16th virtual flag raising ceremony was held on Monday, July 27, 2020. It was hosted by the Provincial Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Office, led by Fernando Vincent D. Jr. Dr. Jerry Kalingasan, in his weekly COVID update, was pleased to report that the number of dengue cases in Misamis Oriental during the first half of 2020 has dropped by 53% from last year. Today, the Provincial Health Office have recorded only 900 two cases of dengue, less than 1,000 in 2019 during the same period. In another development, records from the PHO revealed that as of last week, 101,318 children below one year old has been vaccinated against polio. The said number was out of the 106,393 projected population in the entire province. On another hand, the Provincial Health Office have also registered 47 cases of coronavirus disease or COVID-19 to which patients are mostly ROFs and LSIs. Dr. Kalingasan also urged medical personnel to keep calm, not panic, and simply follow orders from their Chief of Hospitals and Governor Bambi Emano. Also on Monday, the officer in charge of the Nutrition Health Division in the province, Ms. Marites Gomez, said that Misamis Oriental registered the highest malnutrition prevalence rate among the five provinces in Region 10. The significant decrease in the prevalence of wasting, stunting, underweight, and overweight in the provinces manifest improvement in the nutritional status of children ages 0 to 59 months. Governor Bambi Emano want to strengthen advocacy measures to further improve the nutritional status of children ages 0 to 59 months old in the province. Board member Nancy Madhos, being the chairwoman for the Committee on Health and Sanitation, assured Governor Bambi that the provincial board will always support the province's priority projects. Because of this, the provincial government gave the 13 municipalities who has consistent decrease in stunting prevalence in the past three years from 2017 to 2019, 10,000 pesos each and a certificate of recognition. Also on that day, Monday, was the ceremonial turnover of 80 steel rule to be distributed to different barangays from the 15 municipalities of this province. Ms. Gomez emphasized, it is important to conduct reweighing of 0 to 71 months of preschool children as part of the growth monitoring promotion activity to ensure the improvement of nutritional status of children in the barangays. The municipalities to receive steel rule are Alubihid, Balingasag, Balinguan, Binuangan, Claveria, Hitagum, Initao, Lagunglong, Lagindingan, Libertad, Lugait, Magsaysay, Salay, Sugbungkugon, and Talisayan. Happening on that same day was another ceremonial turnover of the second quarter honoraria for the 561 Barangay Nutrition Scholars all over Misamis Oriental. The provincial government prepared 1,683,000 pesos as approved by Governor Bambi Emano. Each BNS will receive 3,000 pesos for the month of April to June of this year. Also last week, Governor Bambe Emano together with Dr. Jerry Kalingasan have undergone a rapid detection test as precautionary measure after learning that two members of the family of a capital employee tested positive for COVID-19. Maintaining confidentiality of the individual who plays a crucial role in combating the wicked disease in the province, the two officials took it seriously and have also undergone a swab test. Governor Imano said the health and safety of capital workers and employees are important. That is why he wants to ensure he himself is risk-free. On Tuesday, July 28, 2020, the result of the RT-PCR test or swab test of Governor Bambe Emano and Dr. Jerry Kalingasan yielded a negative result. Early on, the two top officials of Misamis Oriental have also been subjected to rapid detection tests and still left a negative finding of COVID-19. For 199 days, the provincial government have enacted numerous measures to prevent the possible spread of COVID-19 in the province through strict monitoring and following safety protocols. 
On that same day, Governor Bambi Emanu signed the appointment papers for regularization and promotion of 13 employees from the different Misamis Oriental Provincial Hospitals in the province, specifically in Hingoog, Mantikao, Magsaysay, Initao, Alubihid, and Talisayan. The said signing of appointments was held via a Zoom meeting. These appointments are of huge importance, especially that this MOPH employees comprised of a doctor, nurses, radiological and medical technologists, administrative officers, and aides who serves as frontliners in Misamis Oriental's fight against COVID-19. To show gratitude towards Governor Bambi, the newly appointed employees in return promised to never fail in their duties. They also thanked the governor for the opportunity to serve the less fortunate. It was also on Tuesday that the Provincial Agriculture Office conducted site inspection on the mangrove nursery in Kinogitan, Misamis Oriental to ensure the environmental resiliency in the province. The said nursery is set to be turned over to Fisher Folks Association in the said LGU as source for their planting materials for mangroves, which they believe would make an income once the mangrove forest is properly rehabilitated. Moreover, PAGRO also conducted site inspection on the tilapia project at Barangay Mananumdaan, Medina, Misamis Oriental to which 80 members of the association will benefit the project. The office also distributed some more 223 abaca seedlings to Dulag Udiyongan Small Farmers Association in Hingoog City with 150 members. This is in addition to the 112 seed knots and 115 abaca seedlings they received last month. Beneficiaries thanked the provincial government for the aid extended to them. Mr. Jose Apollo Pacamalan said, Governor Bambi Emano wants to make sure upland farmers have food on their table and enough income, especially during this time that the province is facing COVID-19. On July 29, 2020, Wednesday, Governor Bambi Emanu, together with the Provincial Health Office, successfully completed the institutionalization of the Health Leadership and Governance Program, or IHLGP. The IHLGP is a program of the Department of Health, together with the United States Agency for International Development, or USAID, and Zuelig Family Foundation, that aims to improve the overall state of the health of Filipinos by improving the capacity, management, and capability of local governments and local health staff. The Zuelig Family Foundation and USAID have sent their congratulations via Zoom to the province of Misamis Oriental for completing the program and expressed their confidence that under the leadership of Governor Bambi, the lessons and wisdom learned from the program will be put to its best use. On that same day, the local school board approved four major projects with a total of estimated costs of 126,726,923.92. Mr. Jerome Mundo, the LSB secretary, in his report said the board approved the construction of an Olympic-sized swimming pool at Naawan Central School worth 88,235,919.68. They also support the purchase of supplementary reading materials worth 14,999,511 and 24 and the purchase of ICT equipment and printing machines worth 15,991,500 pesos all for the Department of Education, Misamis Oriental Division. Lastly, LSB also approved the purchase of 10,000 pieces of 32 gigabyte on-the-go USB and printing machines worth 7,500,000 for the Misamis Oriental General Comprehensive High School. The above-mentioned projects will be implemented once the Bids and Awards Committee has completed the bidding process. It was also on Wednesday that the Provincial Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Office conducted a transport mission for individuals suspected to have been infected by COVID-19. These individuals were immediately brought to their respective municipal isolation unit. Later in the afternoon, PDRRMO disinfected their patient transport vehicle as part of their sanitary measures to keep away from any bacteria and infection, especially during this time of health emergency. This included the vehicles that were used to transport LSIs and ROFs. 
the sterilization form part of the duties of the Committee on Sanitation and Disinfection as spearheaded by the Provincial Veterinary Office alongside the Provincial Environment and Natural Resources, Provincial Capital Park, Provincial Population, Provincial General Services Office, and the Provincial Engineering Office Barangay Infrastructure Project. Aside from the disinfection of vehicles, the whole capital grounds also underwent disinfection and sanitation to ensure capital workers and employees are safe in their workplace. Also on Wednesday, July 29, 2020, the Provincial Agriculture Officer Pagro conducted a planning workshop to the Blooming Forest Workers Multipurpose Cooperative in Calagunoy, Hingoog City to strengthen its entrepreneurial undertaking by providing them with technical support and assistance. Additionally, an orientation was given regarding the plans and application to the Food and Drug Administration for the license to operate certificate and EcoCert's organic agriculture certificate for the Oolong tea products. July 30, 2020, Thursday, the Provincial Governor's Extension Office situated in Taguluan, Misamis Oriental, is continuously rendering assistance to Misamisnans. Attorney Nadia Emano Elipe is constantly assisting the public tirelessly from medical issues to personal, family, and community concerns. Governor Bambi want to ensure that help is still available to residents in the 1st District who cannot afford to come to the provincial capital to seek aid. Also, Attorney Nadia, together with members from the Sangguniang Panlongsod, recently visited the isolation units of different barangays in Taguluan to personally assess the area. Friday, July 31, 2020, the provincial government of Misamis Oriental joins the entire nation as the Muslim community celebrated Eid al-Adha or the Muslim Feast of Sacrifice. In his message, the governor is hopeful that peace in the country will be achieved by strengthening the bond amongst Muslim, Christians, and Lumad. The Muslim festival is traditionally celebrated by having feasts with the family and friends, but due to the pandemic, this year's celebration was more solemn. From July 25 to 31, 2020, the Provincial Public Employment Services Officer PESO recorded a total of 106 returning overseas Filipinos and 416 locally stranded individuals arriving in Misamis Oriental. Despite the surge of ROFs and LSIs infected by COVID-19, yet PESO staff remain calm and continue to render public service at its best. As of July 31, 358 were billeted at Marian Suites by the Provincial Government of Misamis Oriental, while 170 were also housed at the same hotel and at New Dawn by the Overseas Workers Welfare Administration or OWA. And from July 27, Monday, until July 30, Thursday, the Provincial Disaster Risk Reduction Management Office initiated a repacking activity of various relief goods to provide immediate emergency response for any future calamity and as preparatory measures for the ongoing pandemic. The repacking of goods was carried out through the assistance of 32 volunteers from the 943rd Marine Company Reserve and 73rd Naval Group Reserve. This activity and under Governor Bambi's mandate shows that the cooperation between the military and the province of Misamis Oriental is strong in responding and helping the people amidst any calamity, even COVID-19. It was also on Friday that President Rodrigo Duterte announced that the Misamis Oriental is included in the list of those areas whose status remain to be under modified general community quarantine. In his remarks, Duterte has appealed to the public for patience and cooperation in the implementation of health measures, assuring them that the coronavirus vaccine is in sight. Saturday, August 1, 2020, a team from the Provincial Social Welfare and Development Office distributed 700 food packs to LGU Balingasag purposely for those affected by COVID. This was received by Mr. Perhilio Damasing of the MSWDO in the said municipality. This effort is made possible by the Food Committee of the Provincial Task Force for COVID-19, headed by Mr. Junlimar Abelia. Misamis Oriental embraces a spirit of community, of friendship, of family, 
setting us apart from any provinces in the region. Because we stand together, we don't wait to be asked. We always reach out. We strive to be a province known for its actions and heart. Jean Kerosene, PIO.